Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of chat system for Magento 2 and using this extension I would allow you to set up a live chat system within your Magento 2 web store and your customers can do a live chat for their queries and questions. The admin can also create different chat agents for better management of customer queries and all customer queries are automatically assigned to the available chat agents. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this extension works. But before that, let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see the module configuration settings that are there in the admin backend panel. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the admin backend panel first and we'll be configuring the module settings in the first place. So here we are in the admin backend panel and here the admin needs to navigate through stores, configuration, and here on the configuration page under the web code block, the admin needs to navigate to chat system configuration menu option. Just click that up and that will bring up the uh, available options for this extension. So here we have three options that are available for the configuration of this Magento 2 chat extension. The very first option that we have is the server settings for the server end. The other one is the front end chat window option. It's used to uh, customize the front end uh, chat window and the admin chat window option for the admin chat window. So we'll be going to each of them one by one. So, let so uh, under the server settings, uh, we have a number of options and the very first option that we have is the host name. So here the, uh, the admin needs to enter the host name of your e-commerce website wherein you are going to use this extension after that we have the port number now you need to enter the available port number for the chat system so you need to enter that up here and uh, after that we have the admin chat profile image so you can upload an image for the admin uh, chat profile from here after that we have the chat name now here enter the name for the chat window name for the front end so it would be the name for the chat window that would be displayed to the uh, customers at the front end so after entering this information you need to start the server by clicking the start server button after that we have the front chat window options and under this we have a number of options to configure the front end chat window so the very first option that we have is the chat window position so here you can select the position of the chat window as either left or right on the bottom ends of your web page. After that we have the option chat window background type. Here you can select the chat window background type as image or it can be solid color type. It depends upon your requirement. If you want an image to be a background then you can select the image option. Otherwise you can select the solid color, color option that we have there. After that we have to choose a background color option. So here you will uh, select the chat window background color. After that we have the chat window header color. So you will select the chat window header color from here. After that we have the chat window header text color. So you will be selecting the text color for the chat window header. So you can just click on here and you can select any of the colors that you want. And you can set it as per your requirement there. After that we have the admin chart window. Now under the admin chart window options we have a number of options here. So the very first one that we have is the chart, chart user panel window background color. So uh, here you need to select the chart list window background color. Chart user panel window text color. Here you need to select the chart window list window text color. After that we have the chart user list background color. So here you need to select the chat list window background color. Similarly, chat user list text color. Here you'll select the chat list window text color that would be visible on the uh, uh, on the chat window. Chat window background type. Now you can select it as an image or you can set it as an solid color as per your requirement. Chat window header color. So you'll be selecting the chat windows header color. You can select which color would it, uh, it be. Similarly, you can set the chat window header text color. So you need to select the chat windows text color. 
So these were the basic uh, configuration settings there for the uh, extension and it was for the server settings, the front end chat window option and the admin chat window option. So uh, after doing all the configuration settings, you just need to save the configuration by clicking the save configuration button here. So uh, the configuration settings have been saved. So uh, now let's go ahead and let's show you how uh, the chat window would be visible to the customers at the front end. So uh, for that, I'll be uh, going to the front. So here I am at the front end right now. And here you can see that on the bottom right hand side, we have the uh, chat window with the header as a web cool chat demo. Right now it's offline. So what I'll do is I'll just click that up. So now when, the, when a customer comes up and wants to have a chat with the admin, so what he needs to do, if he is already a registered customer on this uh, web store, then he can, what he can do is he can directly log into the uh, uh, login here. Otherwise, what he can do if he doesn't have an uh, account here, then the customer can register in the first place. So uh, let's go and let's uh, do one thing. Let's, uh, I'll be uh, logging in with a, uh, with the test credentials that I have. So here I've typed in my username and password and I've uh, logged in. So now you can see that the uh, web cool demo is visible and you can see it's uh, highlighted with a green uh, icon there. So now I can directly start uh, chatting with the admin. So what I need to do is I need to type in the message. Hi admin, need assistance on the product. And as I've sent the message, I'll show you the uh, admin end now. Here you can see the uh, admin is able to see the message that the customer has just typed in in the admin backend right now you can see here so the admin can reply back to the customer okay we shall help and one more thing is that whenever uh, we make replies uh, uh, notifications are being seen on the uh, screen there so i'll show you i'll just make a reply and i'll go to the customer end and here you can see that the admin's reply was visible there so the other things that we have here are like uh, the customers can also add attachments like the customers can send uh, zip files, images along with the chat messages. So I'll be just showing you an example. I've already sent an uh, image to the admin. So uh, let me go to the admin section. Okay, here you can see the notification is also visible. And here the admin can open this image by clicking it and open it in the another window so that was about an image there the customer can also add uh, zip files and you can see that the uh, zip file has been uploaded by the customer here and the customer can himself also uh, make a right click on the uh, file there and can open it in the new tab and the file will get downloaded onto the system and similarly the admin would also receive the file here as you can see the admin has also received the same file and the admin can also click that or open that file up by clicking the download file uh, option that we have so that was about how to uh, uh, share the uh, RAR file we've also showed you the uh, sharing of uh, images Apart from that, uh, the uh, user can also click on the uh, user uh, profile icon here so as to upload uh, a different image for his own uh, profile picture. And uh, by clicking the setting button here, uh, we have two more options to choose from. One is the end chat option and the other one is the profile settings. The end chat button would end this chat uh, with the admin or the current agent that has been assigned uh, for the store by the admin and uh, for the profile setting option you can click on the profile setting option and that uh, usually brings up the profile uh, image change option that we have and from here you can upload any of the images that you want for your uh, profile uh, picture there so that was about uh, this option 
So you can add uh, new attachments, you can add images, you can send them to the admin or the uh, respective uh, agent that's there to assist you out. And you have the option to uh, set your status as online, busy and offline. And uh, you also have an option here uh, wherein you can mute the uh, notification. So whenever any of the messages are com are uh, like uh, are uh, coming onto your chat window at that time, no uh, sound would be played for the incoming message. And if you uh, allow this button or if you enable this uh, or you if you unmute this option, then you'll be getting the notifications for each and every notification that you receive on this uh, file here so uh, now to end the uh, chat what you can do is you can click here and click on the end chat button and that would end the chat uh, with the respective uh, agent there so let me go ahead and let me show how the customer would be able to check or uh, see the chat history uh, of himself and the uh, agents that he has uh, conversed with for that the customer I uh, use uh, has to go to his uh, my account section so uh, let me take you there so we'll go to the my account section first and here the customer needs to navigate to the left hand side menu option that is the chat history menu option just click that up to bring up the options for the chat history there so here we are and we'll be clicking the chat history menu option there and here we can see that uh, we are able to see all the uh, all the chat histories that are there we can see the uh, sender name is there the uh, receiver name is there and the message uh, uh, entities that have been sent are there as well here you can see that there is a text that has been uh, sent to the uh, admin or the assigned agent and here we can see the message or the file that has been shared over uh, by the customer or the admin and you can also click on that uh, here to download that file down again onto your computer or your system there and one more thing is that that the agents can uh, check their uh, chat conversation history by navigating to uh, the uh, to the uh, side panel option uh, that's the um, uh, chat system and here clicking on the assigned chat menu option would bring up the section that would be showing us the assigned chats so here you can see the customer name is there and uh, to whom the customer is assigned to currently and the chat status is also visible here and by clicking the history button you can check the uh, history between the two uh, there and uh, here you can see the sender name the receiver name and the message and with along with the date as well so here you can see all the conversation histories there for that particular agent and the customer so uh, uh that was much about the chat system for magento 2 and hope it helped you out if you have any queries or questions regarding this extension and then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdisc.com Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.